Hi, it's Jen. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a really good day. Today I wanted to share with you a new series that I'm going to do on, on my channel. I'm going to be doing Building Your Stash Sundays. I wanted to start to do this because last week, after work one day, I wanted to go crafting. But then, in order to craft, I had to start from scratch. Different things. And I'll show you what I mean a little bit later. And so... Building my stash for me is going to be making things so that uh, ahead of time so that way when I want to uh, create it's already done for me. The base is already done basically for you and then that way you just get to do the creating part. Another way it's going to look for me is purchasing something for my craft space that I want to try or that I need more of and that is what I'm going to share with you on Sundays. I'm also going to share with you little job jobs that I want to do in my craft space and any empties that I have or any little projects that I've done during the week that I don't make its own separate video for, I'll be sharing on Sunday. So there's so many projects that I do during a week that I don't share with you because I don't think that you'd want to see it. But I'm going to start sharing them with you because I'm thinking, well, people can just shut it off if they don't like it or don't want to see it. So I'm going to start sharing with you more of the things that I create. So today what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get at it and start sharing with you different things. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to share how I made something. Actually, two things. And they're pretty small. So how about we get right to it? So how I wanted to build my stash was gluing some dictionary pages together so it's a double thickness. Now I do use this for quite a few things in my craft space and this this week I was looking for some and I had done some previously but I only did about three or four sheets and I had to use them all up. So I thought, you know what, perfect time for me to, just to sit and to and glue some paper together and so that's what I did. So I'm going to start um, doing this when I come down to my desk and I don't really know what I want to create just yet. So I thought as soon as I started cre um, gluing these papers together I started thinking about so many different things that I can do with it. So that was the first thing that I did and the number it doesn't really matter it just depends on how much you use it. For me, I use this a lot, so I did 20. I, I glued 20 together. I did use a few of them already, but yeah, I did 20 of these, and they're all ready to go, and it's already come in handy quite a bit. So that is my build your stash. The thing that I made this week was gluing the dictionary pages together. Now I just use some, uh, not that one, it's the same one, but I use the Elmer's uh, glue stick for them. It's extra strength, acid free, and non-toxic. Now I am going to try to purchase another glue stick. I'm going to, that's something that is on my list for today to do. I want to um, research glue stick. I don't mind this one. It's what I have, but I am going to research it and look f and try different ones. But I did use that this time, and I used my bone folder to get some nice creases. So I did do that. And so that's one of the things that I created this week, and I'm going to be stashing these. And as I use them, I think when I get down to five, I'm going to start doing more again. And what I will do is rip out my pages and put it beside my chair and I'll start doing this at night so that way if I don't really feel like um, coming down the stairs and crafting, I can just sit there and do some preparation sheets. So I'm so glad to have these back in my stash again. And I just wanted to mention, if anybody is wondering what this clip is, I got them at the secondhand store. I think it was either 50 cents or 75 cents for the big package I got, but they're called Steel Grip and they're stainless steel. So I absolutely love them. If you are a journal maker, these are great. They hold your signatures 
really nice and so often this one only has one right now but I like to put one at the top and one at the bottom and because that flattens the paper as well and everything stays in hand like it stays together because what I used to do is just just keep everything together and would just I did use a clip what kind of clip did I use I think it was just Oh, like a binder clip. I used a binder clip. And those are great, but sometimes the little um, papers that are in the middle would fall out if it didn't um, catch it at the top. So I'm liking these a lot better. And I will just share with you. So I did get quite a bit. I have a quite a bit in use right now as well. And I got this um, jug from the thrift store. It was made in Canada. And it is, it is vintage, um, but I just store all of these in there and keep it on my desk. And so whenever I need one, I know exactly where to go. So I've been loving this, actually. So if you are a junk journaler, you will want to um, look into it. These are really good. I like them. Okay, so I wanted to share that. And for another Building Your Stash, what I did... I, I purchased something. There's a new little shop. I live in a smaller area and there's a newer um, fiber shop in our area and so she carries some sorry silk and so I was so excited because I don't I haven't been using sorry silk. I was gifted I think it was about a yard of it. Yeah a yard and I really liked using it and so she this is how I got it so I don't know if there's a way to get it so like I know I like it crinkly but maybe not so much so I am going to investigate that today actually and get this all set to go and I think people hang it up to try to get to loosen the wrinkles and stuff but I really have been enjoying having this in my stash and so that's one way how I wanted to build my stash is to get a different kind of ribbon and so I got some sort of sorry silk ribbon so I really like that all right so that is it for building my stash I have two empties this week I use two of these glue sticks up I did I didn't start them this week they were both in use I just finished them this week so these are done I did I am in I had this in my stash and when I went out to get groceries um, one day I did buy another one just so I had one on hand and I do want to um, look at different glue uh, glue sticks so I will be doing that's on my list to do um, for today actually I'm gonna be looking for a different glue stick just so I can see if I like it I'm finding with Elmer that I, I like it it glues just fine but the only thing that I'm finding I don't know and I don't know if this is for every glue stick that um, a lot of glue junk chunks come off and so I don't really like that so yeah I'm, I'm gonna see if another brand won't do that so much so those are the empties that I have for this week in my craft space and the little job that I did for myself was I inked the most used used ink pads that I had in my stash. Now, I don't know about you, but when you're working on a project, you don't want to be stopping to refill your ink. And you know what? It's not that big of a deal. But sometimes when I'm in the middle of a project, I really don't want to stop to do this. And so what I did for myself, um, the same day actually that I glued my papers together, is I took the time and I set my timer for 15 minutes and I refilled my ink my ink pads and they didn't take that much time at all and then the next thing that I did is I cleaned my bone folder I don't know about you but when your bone folder gets disgusting it's just when you go to use it next time it's impossible <laughs> to use it for what it's intended for so I cleaned this right up really quickly and it came out really nice actually and do you know what I used I used coconut oil and that took my glue off like nobody's business so I put the coconut oil all over it and then I just used my um, fingernail 
and the glue just came right off. So I really like that. It got it really nice and clean. So those are the two little jobs that I did for myself. So that way, as I begin to craft, I don't have to stop and do some inking or cleaning. I can just craft and have fun. So I encourage you to make a list for yourself so that way you know things that need to get done. Because to be honest with you, sometimes after I'm done crafting, I don't have time to go do these things right away because I have to get on to, to making supper or I'm going to pick somebody up or, you know, that type of thing. So it's not always possible to do it at the same moment that you see that it needs to get done. So writing it down on a list has really helped me to get little things like this done that way when you're crafting you can just craft you don't have to do cleaning of any sort so I encourage you to make a list for yourself to do these things and if it's the same day you write it down perfect um, but some nine times out of ten I can't do it the same day so that was exciting because I've been crafting for the past couple days and these are great. Okay. The next thing that I wanted to share, because it's Valentine's Day, I like to give to my co-workers something small. What I did this year, because a lot of people have diet restrictions, I didn't really want to give a gift of food unless I know what everybody um restrictions are. So this year what I did is I just gave this Wilton's spatula. I have the Betty Crocker's recipe card library from 1971. Why don't I give them one of those that have a lot of like pinks and reds and whatnot and decorate it just a little bit and then that way they can still see the recipe because the people that I'm gifting this to aren't junk journalers so I didn't go way out to decorate this how I would for a junk journaler. I'm going to share with you exactly how I put it together and then yeah. So the first thing that I did is I sewed a little ruffle up with this beautiful pink striped fabric that I have and I just want to give a tip on that for a second. Here how about I glue it and then I'll give my tip. So what I do when I glue it I only glue on the sewing at the back. So I did do a zigzag stitch in the middle and when I glue it I only glue where the zigzag stitch is. Just because that way the stitching won't come loose at all and so that way the whole fabric isn't glued onto the Hard. That way there's, it can get fluffed up a little bit, right? And I did leave the sewing ends as well. So I'm just going to make sure that's okay. Alright, so while that dries for a few minutes, I'm just going to give you a little tip. And you may already be, be doing this, but this is something that I've just recently done. Know when you have your piece piece of fabric, this is one inch wide and ten inches long, just in, if you want to know. And then when I do my little ruffle, I don't like it straight. I like it all wee wonky, so I do that on purpose when things aren't straight. I think it looks kind of cool. But the thing that I started doing that has helped me, because usually what I would do is do this, put it into my sewing machine and kind of hold it, but every time you do this, it always moves and falls apart. So what I started doing is I take a sewing needle and I weave it in and out on the very far right of the ruffle. And it only takes a couple minutes, not even. And there you go. And then what I do, I put it in my sewing machine and I put it on a zigzag stitch and as I zigzag, I pull the needle down. And then that way there's no chance 
that that needle is going to get caught in my sewing. It's not going to get caught anyway because I'm putting it at the far right and I'm sewing right in the middle. But just to be on the safe side, I do pull it down slowly. That way there's no chance of my needle breaking. And so this has really helped me and it's the frustration has been taking, taken out of doing any of these little ruffle things in my book because I do this and now everything stays together. So I thought I'd just share that. I don't know. I, most of you are probably doing that. It just took me a minute to figure it out. But there we go. I did this. And then what I did, I just, I did punch a hole on the right hand side of the recipe card. I, I didn't do any inking or anything because again, I don't know if they would think it's dirty. <laughs> don't know if they get the idea of inking I, I don't know so just to be on the safe side and then what I did is I just put some seam binding red and I crinkled it up and how you do that you just take a bunch of it and get it wet and then you just scrunch it all up oops <laughs> you just scrunch it all up and I don't even put a, a lot of people put elastic and stuff on it I just leave it like that on the counter and it dries overnight or you can take your hair dryer and dry it if you need it right away and when it's wet it stays together like in a wet ball and then it will dry and it becomes like this I know some I know a couple people who I've gifted this to who aren't junk journalers they're like oh my your ribbon is awfully crinkly you might need to iron that <laughs> and I'm like Oh, I did that on purpose. They're like, oh. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Uh. <laughs> anyway. So there. I just put it through there. Let me see. Oh, that's what's going on. Sorry. And there we go. And then I'm going to cut this just so I don't... get caught with myself and then I just strung the card through here and it was it was actually you know it was a blessing you know I I love to do this type of thing and sometimes I know with myself, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do it. I talk myself out of doing some things sometimes because I'm like, oh, people are going to think it's silly or people don't need it or other, oh, you know, you make so many excuses for yourself why you're not going to do something. And I, I'm very thankful that I did it because one of the ladies came to me and said, you know, that really brightened up my day. Thank you so much. So even though it's something small and, you know, can kind of silly you know people will appreciate it so people are have a hard time there's a lot of things happening and I people will enjoy it and it doesn't have to be expensive I have what's called a gift box in my home and when I find things um, on sale or at a really good you know good prices I do pick them up so I can do this type of thing for people Am I perfect at it? No. Do I need to get better at it? Yes. I talk myself out of a lot of things because, again, we think, well, they're going to think it's silly or, you know. All right, and there we go. I just did bow at the top. And then, see, I like... When I do my bow, I like to work on the ends of my ribbon because I like to make sure it's frayed. It's just something I like. It's just that look of, I just like it. <laughs> and there you go. Then what I did is I crocheted some hearts with some variegated crochet cotton. And then I took a piece of... Uh, of lace with a ball pin and then I attach that to the ribbon. I just pick the bow up, put the 
pin through and there you go I just did that I was gonna hang this on the material but I liked it here because I wanted them to see I like the material like it was just I don't know <laughs> and there you go and that's what I did I put that because <laughs> to be honest with you I was kind of running behind and I wanted to do this and again I was trying to talk myself out of doing it I'm like oh it's not necessary people people think it's silly I don't you know but I thought no I'm gonna do this I want people I want, I'm thinking about them and whatnot and I'm really glad I did and that's why I'm, I was thinking what base could I use that I don't have to do a lot of decorating this is something super easy that you can do really quickly and so just a little ruffle quick ruffle put a bow you don't even have to put um, if you don't crochet you don't have to put a crochet heart you can put a metal charm you can buy metal hearts you can buy those on Amazon and so this is this was my Thanksgiving gift that I gave to some co-workers that I have for Valentine's Day for the ladies that I worked with that day so I did this and then the next thing I wanted to share with you was for my daughter on Valentine's Day I want well for today I gave her a little gift and how I, I gave her I want to make her a tag and this is the tag that I made I challenged myself I came down to my desk and I said okay I'm only going to use some scrap pieces that I have on my desk and I want to create a tag so this is what I came up with and I absolutely love it and she loved it so I wanted to share with you how I did this it's super simple it's just from scraps scraps now there's a couple things that aren't scraps but the base of it is and so and how I attached it to her package was just with this clip and then I just put a little bow of um, seam binding and then I just attached it this way so that way there's a little pretty bow as well so the base of it and I'm gonna make one here with you today so the base of it is from a time card I don't know why I have these on my desk over time I'll let you know eventually why I do but this piece measures two and a half by three inches to I believe let me look at my notes that I took sorry yep two and a half by three inch two and a half inches by three inches and so this is um, part of a time card and what I did is I did ink all around it so I did that before I even um, came on camera and this was tea dyed so I used it for something then what I did is I had this piece on my desk again I don't know why <laughs> I'll have to figure that one out as well and then what I did is I thought what if I glued it on the corner so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna get out my glue stick now I don't I don't make tags for my husband anymore um, just because yeah I do give a gift but I just yeah he thinks they're pretty but anyway so I put this on the corner and make sure I get it I'm gonna put it up toward me. I'm sorry. I'm trying not trying to take this off camera, but I want to make sure it's straight so I can get it. I gotta glue a little bit more. So, do you guys do anything for Valentine's Day? I know it's not a holiday that a lot of people do, and that's okay we tell everybody that we love them every day right all right there you go my daughter this year she bought me the most beautiful flowers 
I love house plants and she bought me the most beautiful I'm gonna put a picture in actually right here of them aren't they so beautiful love them so she really did good there okay so I did um, I just glued that on there then what I did is I found a scrap piece of pattern paper what I mean by that is sewing pattern paper <laughs> and I don't know why I put that away and then I just glued that down here see how the what I'm talking about the chunks that come off of it yeah that I don't like because you don't want chunks on your paper because yeah so I'm just gonna put it on the sewing paper itself because nine times out of a ten when I put it on the piece that I'm gluing it to I never get in the right spot <laughs> So, I am going to put this closer to over here. And there we go. want to make sure everything's glued then I, what I do is anything hanging off I just take my scissors and then I just cut it off I think there's a little bit more over here that needs gluing and there we go that is good And then the next thing that I did is I t did take gesso and I just put a little bit of gesso all over. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bring this up a bit. Okay, and then just gonna I just put it all over down here all over the card just in case because that's not going to be seen right so Something places aren't going to be seen. Again, I don't want to do too much because sometimes I can get heavy handed and use an awful lot of it and then it just just whites it out, right? So I don't want to do that. Alright. It just just to add a little bit of texture here and there. Just so it's not plain. All right, so I did a little bit of gesso. Then what I did, I have these flowers from Tim Holtz Botanical Ephemera Pack. I'm gonna use this one here. And then I have this label. This label comes from, I stamped these myself, and I they're from Tim Holtz's um, His, oh, here it is. It is from his Field Notes stamp. From his Field Notes stamp. Um, stamp. So, yeah, it's from that. And then what I did is I stamped, I had this stamp that says love, and then I did generation stamping, meaning you stamp it um, the first time just out of the ink and then you keep on stamping it so there's three generations stamping here okay well I think I don't know if you count the first one but if you count the fir first one it's four but anyway so that's what I did I wish I would have with this one put the first 
stamp here and then go up as it gets lighter. So I did it this time for this one. So I am going to glue this down right here. I'm going to be using my fabric tack for this. I just use my fabric tack. Hmm. Got to make sure there's room for my. Oh, yeah. This love stamp that I have. It is crooked on the stamp itself. Like on the rubber. And so I was having such a hard time getting it straight. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's a junk journal or a card. Okay, so I glued that down and then I just flipped it over. And I'm going to cut the rest of it off. And because I cut that off, I am going to take some of my Potting Soil Archival Ink, and I'm going to ink right here. Sorry, I'm just uh, making sure I like how it looks. And I cut a little bit more. I'm trying to be careful because I don't like to cut too much because then I'll cut the actual card. All right. Love that. So it's the potting soil one. And then what I did is I, what I like to do first is put my material ruffle off to the side so I know exactly where that's going to need to be glued. And this, I did use cheesecloth for this one up here, but I'm not going to use it for this one down here. I just, this plant is so big, I just, I just figured that it just would, I don't know, I don't. It'd be okay, but I'm not, I'm not gonna. I think it looks good without it too. So I'm just gluing all over with that fabric tack glue. Okay, Cause I don't wanna have to go back and. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue it down. Make sure I put it where I want it. Well, I'm going to have to cover some th stuff up that I didn't want to because I didn't think it through. <laughs> but if I was going to have some stuff hanging off, I shouldn't have glued it, right? So that's something to make note of. If you are going to be... What I did is I broke my glasses one, and then a glass, um, a lens came out. And I do have an appointment, but I've been having a hard time. And they're not even, they're not that strong, but I'm having a hard time seeing here. So it's not going to be. So anyway, and there we go. Oh, I love it. It looks cute. Okay. Then this, I just glue it onto the side like this. And even if it covers up, because I'm only gluing where the sewing is, remember? And so this is gets picked. I like to fluff that up sometimes. And I think that looks super cute. I wasn't going to use the word love for this one because um, this can just be, I wanted this one not to be a Valentine's Day one because I want it, you can make this for any 
any junk journal. It doesn't have to be a Valentine's. It can be for any journal. Okay, I'm going to try to be careful. Put my thumb and my finger where the glue is. And then I really liked that polka dot material. I had to use it. I'm just like, yeah. And I, I like the love. So that's one thing that I would say. I do like the love down here. The solid one and then it goes up lighter. I do like it on the bottom better. And then what I have for up here to, to, to go on my ruffle is a crocheted butterfly and then a piece of lace. Those butterflies are fun to make as well. Gotta make sure to place this right. I do have the butterfly hanging on its uh, wing on the side, so I wanna make sure when I'm see this. Just pin this on to my ruffle. And there you go. Because we just glued it on so I'm trying to be careful not to lift it. is our card. Now what I would do with this one, um, if you put it in your junk journal or even if you wanted to gift this type of one, I made this clip with a brown ribbon. I thought that would be nice. And there you go. So I just wanted to share a little um, tag that I put together for my daughter. I just really thought it was super cute how it turned out. You can use whatever scraps that you do have in your, I'll just take this off, on your desk, but I thought they turned out pretty cute. Now this one, if I made it again, I think I would put cheesecloth on it. It just, you know, it just adds to the junk journal part of it, but I really like how they both turned out. Now, those are the two projects that I wanted to share with you today. Something super small, but I thought really cute was this gift that I made for some co-workers and then this tag that I made for my daughter that I thought would look in any junk journal because sometimes our junk journalers, journals are smaller and you need a smaller tag. So I think this would fit the bill. And then here's the clip for this one. I thought that was really cute. I really hope you enjoy these few little projects and the idea to building our stash. Now this week, what I would like to do is, if you made it this far during the video, I would like to give away to somebody these little gifts. Now, I thought, because I wanted to make one for um, one of my subscribers, and then I, th I thought I would share two yards of it with you, um, one of my subscribers today, and the, and the take that I just made, I thought I would um, put with it, because I thought it would look super cute, um, with this gift. And so I want to give this to one of my subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you for staying with me. Um, those that have been staying with me since the beginning, you've just subscribed to my channel. I want to 
thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me. I know I haven't been on here faithfully. Uh, different things have occurred in my life, and I want to thank you for sticking with me and staying subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you find value in some things that you find on my channel, and I hope to bring you much more um, during the com coming year. So I would like, if you would like to win um, these small, just something small tokens, the reason why I want to give both away to one person is because this is my gift to you, uh, Valentine's gift to you, but I wanted to give you something you can use in your journaling. So that's why I, I, I don't hope it's not, it's not awkward, but I just thought it would be nice to get something that you can use in your journal as well. So if you would leave a comment down below of one thing that you would like to build your stash with more of and to help us all out, um, to give us ideas, that would be great. And I may use some of your ideas and I will mention your name. So don't mention giveaway in the comment section, but just mention something that how you would like to build your stash, what you would like to build your staff, staff, sorry, <laughs> stash with. And you need to be a subscriber, subscriber to my channel in, um, in order for the, to get win the giveaway, and you need to be a subscriber that can be seen, and I am to like the video. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch all this. I do appreciate it, and thank you so much again for sticking with me and for um, staying subscribed to this channel it um, means a lot to me and for um, making comments on my videos I do appreciate it so don't forget if you want to win the giveaway and this will be open for I'm gonna leave it open for a week I know you'll receive this after Thanksgiving because okay <laughs> sorry it's Valentine's Day I've been calling Valentine's Day Thanksgiving all week my apologies if you would like to uh, you're going to get this after Valentine's Day anyway, but I'm going to leave it open for a week because some people work and some people have, um, they don't go on their, on their, um, social accounts on the weekends. So I'm going to leave this open for a whole week. So next Sunday when I come back and, um, share a video with you, I will mention who had won this giveaway. So again, the giveaway, you need to be a subscriber, a scene subscriber, you need to um, like the channel and just mention in a comment down below what what you would like to build your stash with, what sort of things. Thank you so much for watching again, and don't forget, let's not throw away our junk. Let's journal with it. Take care, guys. Bye.